guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to learn how to make a fun and fabulous rolling photo cake which is an absolute surprise cake for any special occasion so let's get started so to start this off we are going to need to bake a cake of course here i'm baking a chocolate cake frosted with whipping cream guys before we go any further let me remind you, I am no expert baker, so my cake wouldn't seem all that perfect. But you guys can watch how I have done this and bake a better one for sure. And there are plenty of baking and frosting videos out there, so I am not getting into any details of that. So here, I am done with baking and now getting ready with the frosting. And then we shall get into the exciting part. Now to make the rolling photos, firstly let's take the printout of the photos we need. I have taken a size of 5 by 5 cm for each photo and got them printed. And here I am taking a small plastic box to keep the rolled photos and plastic bags to put the photos inside. I bought these small plastic covers or bags from a grocery store. You can also use small ziplock bags instead. So as you can see, the length of the bag seems to fit two photos inside and so I am going to cut out them with two photos each. You can cut them as per the size of your bag. Once that's ready, you are going to put the photos inside the plastic bags and then secure them by sticking the ends of the plastic bags. Make sure to continue this step until you have put all of your photos into the plastic bags. Once that's done, now you're gonna get a cello tape, take the end of one of the bags and grab another bag and stick them together towards the ends as shown. And just repeat this process until all the plastic bags are taped to each other. We are going to roll this and keep it inside the cake. We need to make sure there is no dust or any sticky stuff on the plastic bags. Therefore, wipe them with a wet tissue paper on both sides. So now we are ready to roll our photos. Make sure to roll it in such a way that it fits perfectly into the plastic box. Now that we have put the rolled photos inside the box, let's secure it by taping a plastic bag as shown. That is, when the rolled photos are being pulled out, there is a chance for the whole thing to come out at once. Therefore, I do this method to make sure the surprise won't be ruined. Which is, I stick one of the plastic bags towards the other side of the box, leaving one fourth of the first photo pulled out. Secure this as shown by taping them on all sides properly.
well as you can see while pulling out the photos we get the roll neat and easy i'm showing you this to make sure it's done perfectly you needn't do this step otherwise be ready to repeat the whole step once again now grab your cake and cut out a rectangle the same size of your plastic box keep the box on top of the cake and cut it out using a cake knife as shown and take out the piece leaving a gap to fit the plastic box inside and then cut the cake carefully into two layers as shown Here, I'm using a glue gun to stick the box onto the cake stand. You can also use a double-sided sticky tape or keep it just as it is inside the rectangular gap. But I must admit, here again, I didn't want to take any chances and wanted this surprise turn perfect. But guys, if you're using a glue gun, make sure not to touch the box anywhere as the glue may stick onto the cake and place it fast perfectly to the middle of the rectangular gap. And when you want to clean up the cake stand later, don't worry, the glue will peel off easily from the cake stand. So I place the top layer onto the bottom layer after evenly applying the whipped cream frosting. And then to cover the top of the plastic box, I kept the rectangular piece which we had taken out from the gap earlier which we had sliced out to place in the plastic box. So now the box is almost hidden except for the part to pull out the rolled photos. And let's finish the frosting with more whipped cream. Make sure not to touch the plastic bag while frosting. Well guys, this was a surprise cake for my husband on our wedding anniversary. So here, I've taken a piece of chart paper with happy anniversary written and stapled it onto the plastic bag and added on two red roses. It's up to you to use chocolate stick or biscuits as well for the same purpose.
And now for rest of the cake decoration and then you are done with the rolling photo cake. My husband was absolutely surprised and I say you guys should definitely try as well. If you like the video please like and share and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet for more videos so until next video thanks a lot for watching guys